Hello everybody, this is Zach Zedded again. I'm your host, Zach Cooley, and I'm honored to be here with my server of the Withville Mobile Nobles, otherwise known as the Withville Shriners. Thank you for being with me today, Mike. Oh, thank you. And first of all, let me say how honored I am that you asked me to cover this and generous enough to and generous enough to uh, buy buy me or, or have me a ticket. That that that, <coughs> mean, that means a great deal to me. And oh, uh, thank you very much. And, We're glad that glad you can be part of it. And to cover the Shriners is always very important to me. As you know, I've benefited greatly from the Shriners for the first 18 years of my life, very very heavily. So I'm, I'm well. That's I'm, that's glad to hear. I'm good to hear. I'm, uh, Dale, I'm, Dale knows you. You dealt with Dale before, right? You had some deals. Yes. yes, yes, yes. And uh, but you know, they've just uh, been wonderful. Uh, two two gentlemen who are no longer with us um, that you may or may not know, uh, George Schreiber and Bob Dean. They were uh, they were sponsors. They were my sponsors when I was two years old. And they got me, and they got me going with uh, with uh, the Shriners Hospital, and I had hamstring release surgery there when I was eight years old, and and never had to worry about equipment or expenses going to Greenville and back, and you know all that, all that good stuff. So very, very. That's, good. That's awesome. Good. Of course, they remembered me every year at Christmas time, and uh, I. I you know, I really appreciate that. But about um, your program, people can purchase a ticket, a hundred dollar ticket, which uh, which permits a steak, a ribeye steak dinner for two. And if you're eating steaks at the Moose Lodge, you're getting the best steaks in town. Exactly. Uh, uh, with uh, unlimited beer and wine. Um, what is the Mobile Nobles? What is that exactly? That is our local Shriner unit. Okay. That we that's what that's how uh, that's how we're we're known. We have uh, all of us have golf carts, and we go our go karts. Excuse me. We have go karts, and we go to the parades, and we just ride our go karts through, just as to give us exposure. Okay. And that's where the mobile part comes from is we have a trailer with all these, our sponsors that people have sponsored us and we put their name on the trailer uh-huh. and then we ride around in the, in the go, go karts and, you know, high five the little kids and just to get ourselves some exposure. Great. <laughs> Great. Okay. And you're doing the drawdown at the Whitfield Moose Lodge, February 3rd, 6 p- beginning at 6 p.m. About, about, yes. how, about how late is it going to run? About 9.45, 9.30 to 9.45. We're usually done okay. about that time. Okay. So, so we're, we're shutting her down. Yes, sir. Right. You're not there all night. So what was, uh, what was Dale telling me when he was saying... You need to be the last one there. What was I don't know if I want well, to put that in an article, but what did he mean by that? Well, it's, it's the, the, the object of a drawdown is when you do regular raffles and they draw the first name drawn is the winner. This one, you're the last name, is the big winner. Now, the first ticket drawn gets $100. Okay. We give away $100 every 25 tickets. Every 25 tickets, okay. Exactly. And then when we get to ticket number 241 through 248, that ticket, every one of those tickets gets $100. Okay. When we get to ticket 249, that person gets $500. And the last ticket of the whole night, number 250, gets $2,500. Wow. That's, yes. So that's that's a lot of money going into going in going into the just the prizes. Where does that money come from? That's all that's all funded the dinner and everything comes out of the ticket sales. Okay, great. And we only sell two hundred and fifty tickets. Great okay. Two hundred and fifty tickets at a hundred dollars a piece. I see. That's all we sell, yes, yes sir. sir. And we take all the 
the the the prize money, the the giveaways, and and the uh, the, the dinner and anything that we buy drink wise, that comes out of the, the hundred dollars per couple. That's paid. Okay. Yes, and, sir. All right. Uh -huh. And let's see. It says uh, you do not need to be present to win. No, uh, sir. Um, all of the. On, and all the proceeds benefit the mo the mobile noble units, which ultimately it benefits the Shire Children's Hospital, which is in Greenville, South Carolina, and of course there are others across the country. Um, yes, we uh, the money we have we have our our, our little checking account, mm -hmm. and and every year we do a golf tournament. We do a we do this drawdown. We send money to the uh, to the hospital. I think uh, last year we sent eight thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and it's for different. We we send it to them and and ear tag it for the shoe fund or the teddy bears because every kid that comes in to the Shriners Hospital, they'll you know they'll get a pair of shoes and a teddy bear. You know, okay. Yes, and you know that's sometimes we'll give it to the transportation fund for the monies to you know, like you said, that for expenses of getting the the patient to and from the hospital. Right. Right. <clears throat> yes. Right. Uh, and and how many people do you know about? How many people locally um, go to the Shriners Hospital? Um, you know, I do not know total. I know there was a one of the managers at Cracker Barrel's daughter went years ago to the one of the hospitals. She was burned. Do you know Charlie Brown, the radio disc jockey for the station in Marion? No, I don't. No, I can't. I don't know which station it is. Dale does, but his son just went and got back from Philadelphia Shriners Hospital, his son had spinal surgery. Oh, uh-huh. And he is, Charlie Brown is going to be at the uh, at the drawdown, and uh, his kid is, is doing well and in less and less pain every day because his, his uh, my wife works with Charlie's wife. She's a hospice nurse, and she, she has told her that the, the kids doing phenomenal, and they had a great experience in Philadelphia at the Shriners Hospital. Well, that is fantastic. I look forward. That's, yeah, that's what we. That's what we. You know, you need to. You know, you got to give back, and and we all like each other, all our Shriners, and we we do this because it's you know giving something back. And little kids, you know, kids are innocent. You gotta you gotta do what you can to help them out. That's right. Why we do it. And we have to. We have to. Children are losing their innocence earlier and earlier, and yet we have to do everything we can to prolong that innocence. You know, yeah. I'm, I I was born with cerebral palsy and wheelchair bound, and and by by everybody by everybody's account, me being 39 years old and 180 pounds of dead weight, by the world's account, I would have long been in a nursing home by now. You know, never expected to be married or, or have children or anything like that. And I have been married for almost 14 years and I have a beautiful, healthy nine-year-old daughter. So I, awesome. so I understand uh, how fortunate I am and God's blessings. And, and the Shriners has certainly been that throughout my life. Now, how many Shriners do you have in this local Whitfield chapter? Twelve. Twelve. I've been. I've only been a Shriner for three years. I, I got see. a late start because because of see. Dale and and Charlie. But I've known the guys forever, and it's you know, I like that. I like that. The drawdowns are fun. It's a lot of social to it. You get to see people and watch them get excited when they win a hundred bucks or win five hundred bucks. And sure. You now it's a it's a social event. You're getting something for your money. That's the, big, that's the big thing with Absolutely. our... Absolutely. 
and and uh, let's talk about the, let's talk about the moose lodge uh for a second um the moose lodge is is a great great organization and i i i, I i'll be honest they have such awesome food my wife and i joined ch- so we could eat there they have the best steaks. Yes. oh yeah they have the best exactly. steaks in town but i have worked with dan um we had a, a an organization, it's defunct now, but we had an organization called the Heavenly Angels and that supported uh, the disabled community in Southwest Virginia. And we partnered with them with, with that every year and had, um, I was, that probably went on for five years and I spoke every year at that event. The Moose Lodge is a great organization to partner with. They do incredible things for this community and I know that that uh, that that was your thinking when you partnered with the Moose Lodge. Well, but we we I've known Dan like you. I've worked in the vending industry before with the videos, and, and I've known Dan for years. And the, the building's big, the bathrooms are huge, and the and the bingo machine is huge for us because that's the numbers we use when we 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 do the drawdown. Right. So, it you have to you know it's it's legitimately run yes those balls pop out of that machine and i pull one out so there's no question that of, of how it was run so it's on the up and up mm-hmm. and you know we have fun doing this we yeah. do have fun it's and and dan you know, the rest, and dan is a top-notch guy yes oh yeah they you know we didn't do the food with them the first year but then i talked with dan the second year and you know he's he gives us a great rate on the food and it like i said that helps us to send more money to the hospitals it's yeah yeah and it's in like you said in whitfield and in which county we truly do care about each other we we care about each other we try to take care of each other and even somebody like me who makes a whole twelve dollars a week for what I do for the newspaper, me being a part of this and being able to write a story uh in the paper about it and to do this podcast about it 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 is a way for me to give back, even I can contribute and and it makes me feel good that i can good. that I can help in some way. So I was really, I was really honored when you and uh, Dell came up to me a couple of nights ago at the Millwall and said we'd love for you to come and do this. And I, and I, that's awesome. I, I mean, I, I, it really meant a lot to me. So thank well, you, good. thank you for thinking of me. Truly. Yes. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad Dale came out and and he he told me the story between y'all two and the card games. Oh yeah, and he said something about it. And I said, "Well, dude, that's you know, like I said, we partnered up too with with only selling two hundred. We only sell two hundred and ten tickets. We keep back forty mm-hmm. for. We'll have some games and and we'll auction some off for people that have gotten out of it to get back in. Right. So we we partnered up with uh, Rocky Gap Fire and Volunteer Fire Department and the WISP uh, with uh, athletic boosters and we've split the money. We, you know, we gave them money to sell each ticket for their organizations to make money for them. We keep back the money to pay for our prizes and mm-hmm. food. And then, you know, we've shared the wealth. It's not like we, cause it's hard to sell that many tickets. So these sure. groups help us get them, get it out more and it helps them too. Well, things like this, you know, every ticket needs to be sold, and we need to do what we can to get. Yes, it. I mean we're really close to having every ticket sold now. It's it's we're we're excited that I've got my tickets in the at the house for that night, and there's only a few tickets out there that are left, and and we're we're excited about that because that means more people will be there, more fun. And it makes it easier the next time we do it. That's the key. Right, right. And this is something, even if we sell all the tickets 
before this article comes out. You cannot over publicize something like this. You cannot right. you cannot overstress the importance of something like this. It is You're exactly right. No. Because I've I've been there and I've been in need and and I I don't know I mean I don't know what I would have done uh, and I'm just the same as any family and you know that was over 20 years ago that I was just kind of discharged from the Shriners because I'm almost 39 now but um, when back then when I was going. They said we see ten th over ten thousand patients a year, and I'm sure that number is even higher now. Oh my gosh, you know it is. You know, with the pandemic, I'm sure it's doubled. And yes, you know, money. Well, <laughs> uh, go ahead. With the cost of hospital care, yes. you know, and then people, the insurance is is so hard to get. Yes. I guarantee it because I don't know the numbers, but. You know, I, you know, I don't know how many. There's a lot of Americans that are uninsured nowadays just because of the Sure, expense. sure, and it is, and it is. I, I'd like to stress too, is is the Shriners is an organization that turns no one away. Is that correct? Exactly. Yes. It's it's in it's in no child left behind. Right. Right. Yes. And. You know, I, I'm grateful for, um, you know, I'm grateful for the uh, advancements that science has made, but, um, y you know, cerebral palsy is not as prevalent as it was when I was born, uh, but, but, it, but it still exists, and, and we, we are, and, you know, we are the disabled, is the most overlooked population in the human race, you know? Yes, because I agree. society wants to just say society. I I used to think they just want they just wanted us put away in the institution so they could control us, but they they just they want us off the planet. They don't they don't want to have to deal with us, and and you know we those of us who have a voice like myself um we we have got to be stubborn enough to say we're not gonna let you kill us you know i'm not gonna right. i'm not gonna settle for being another statistic i'm going to be the one that is that is the atypical statistic i'm going to be the one gotcha. good. be the one that is a husband and a father and I, and more and more more people need to be encouraged to do the same. Every every one of those kids need to know that they can do anything that they want to do. And I, and all we Good. and all you know all you all are trying to do is 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 help them do that. Help yes. them be the best they can be. Yes. And uh, the the Shriners do amazing things in in that regard. Um. Now, you said there would be some other prizes there other than the monetary prizes. So, uh, yes, we're going to we we this year we've incorporated some we've got some donations. We we'll have some uh, you know, after a certain time we'll draw some names out of the the losers. The people that not the losers, but the names that have already been drawn. Right. We'll draw we'll draw a ticket at some point in time and and pull and pull a prize out for them. And the, we just the more we can give away, <clears throat> the more people will remember it. And it's just you know I've been I have been to to those Shriners Christmas gatherings and stuff, and uh, they're they're a fun group of folks. I mean you have a good time when you're at one of when you're at one yeah, of those it's gatherings. Yeah, about having a good time. Yeah, that's I, one thing I like about the uh, the, the drawdown. We're all there together. We all like to give each other a hard time. Yeah, and it's you know you're 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 doing something that's really good, and and that's that's the main thing. Every, everybody's laughing. Everybody's everybody exactly. Every and everybody's included. Everybody's a part of of that. And uh, you're exactly right. You know, yes. that, it's just. 
it's just a good time all around. And is, do, do you know about the other prizes what they will be, or do you keep them secret? To we the we have a little uh, mini smoker, we have a little grill, and we have some uh, some bottles of some alcoholic beverages that we want to pass out. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Very good. Um, and uh, anyone, anyone is welcome. All, all ages welcome. Uh, yes, long, as long as you have a ticket. Yep. And uh, you know, fun games and and fun for everybody. Are we, are we playing bingo or what? What kind of games have we got going on? Uh, what, either, what we do is my wife will sell some tip boards, so you you know a chance on maybe another ticket. Mm -hmm. um, Dale's wife does some card games to where you got a chance to win another ticket. And like I said, we have an auctioneer, true auctioneer that'll auction off tickets as we go. And right near the end, we'll auction off about seven or eight tickets and let more people get back in. It's it, people get excited and you know, yeah, we just, we just want to raise a bunch of money for the hospital. And it's, it's, that's a, it's very exciting, and uh, good, and it sounds like a great time. Well, we're looking forward to you coming for sure. Well, and, and encourage people to come for next year. And you know, I'm I'm very happy I met you, and I look forward to uh, talking with you very soon. Thank you, Zach. We'll be in touch. And uh, thank you very much for your time. Yes, sir. And I will.